Hi, in today's activity, here's what I want you to do. I want for you to discuss with your family, definitely your parents or guardians, and see if there is an old game that you have not played in a long time, and see if we can bust that out and think about the way in which that game is played and how can we turn that into to have some activity and or some fitness involved with each one of those turns that someone may take. So for example, with my daughter, we have like hi-ho cheerio, right? And so there's a spinner and it might be, you know, one cherry or two cherries or three or maybe the bunk, the bucket dumps, right? And you have to put them all back. So what we may do is we may say that if someone lands on the one, then they have to do 10 jumping jacks, right? And then they get to put that apple on there. Let's say it's Candyland, okay? And um, think about that one. So when you draw the card, it has a color square on it or it might also have um, a picture of some sort that you land on either the regular one or we have the Disney version of that, right? So what we may do is maybe even make our own and say that if you draw a red square, then you have to do, um, you know, a certain number of sprints in one place. And if it's a double red square, then obviously you have to double that. Every blue square means jumping jacks. Every yellow square means sit-ups or curl-ups um, or something of that nature, right? So there's just some fitness activity type things, but it may be something fun, you know, um, and or it can be something more like activity wise. Um, maybe you have a favorite sport that you like and so you can do some of those types of skills with each one of those turns. You can take that type of game outside. Um, if you don't have those games at home, then you can make them, right? So you might be able to color some different squares um, and play it that way if, if Candyland would be more of your style uh, to move up there. So another example is a long time ago, I took some old Jenga blocks and I wrote on them. And I wrote some different types of exercises. I wrote some fitness things. I wrote some strengthening type things. So one is like heel touches. I have arm circles, knee tuck jumps, right? A type of wall sit, burpees, back extensions. Some of these we've done in class, right? Windmills, crunches, quick feet, right? So what I may do with this is build my Jenga tower, right? So this could be really fun if you have this at home and you don't maybe play it all that often, you could write on there or you can just put, you know, maybe like a piece of masking tape on there, something you can take back off, but something you can write on there. So I'm just gonna try to build this up high enough to where you can see it. All right. So what I may do is I've done this with races before, right? So I built my little Jenga tower. And so what I may do is set it a little bit away from me. I'm going to run, okay? And then I'm going to go real slow. And I'm going to try to poke out the center block somewhere. And this is really funny because it's not high enough, so it doesn't have enough weight. So unfortunately, yes, on screen, you're gonna see me kind of cheat a little bit. So what I may do though, is as I poke that piece out and pull it out, okay? So then this is what I have to do. I have to do heel touches, right? So that's just using my heels and kind of tapping them on the ground really fast. So we've done that in class before. And so we may say, you know, in any of these, our family decides together that we're gonna do 10 of each item or we're gonna do 20 or 15 or whatever your number is. And so when I get this one out, then I have to go and do that activity as I get back and as the next person goes, right? So now we're playing the game of a fun board game or a fun, you know, at home activity game with my family, but I'm also getting my activity in as well. So I would just encourage you to uh, kind of look at it, some of those things. If you need some help, maybe coming up with some creative ways to do that, please make sure that your parents reach out to me because I'd love to help you through that. But how you can turn a, a family type game or a card game or a board game at home into something activity and fitness wise. And I'd love to see what your creations are, either through a small video or a photo and have your parents send that to me, okay? I hope that you're doing well and I hope you have a fun time with your activity for today.